Hi guys, in this video I will talk about matrices in LaTeX. To show you what type of matrices we can create, I prepared a small table. In this table, you can see the environment needed for each type. To be able to use these environments, we need to call the package msfmat by using use package command in the preamble. Let me just uh, type it. So, we are now ready to go. Let's start with the plain matrix which doesn't have any brackets. To do that, we are creating an equation environment with uh, double dollar signs. Then we are starting our environment by using begin command and our environment is matrix. And we are ending our matrix here. So between this uh, begin and matrices, so we are in the environment and we just need to type our matrix. Let's start with a simple example. For example, the first row will be 1, 2 and 3. And you can see uh, on the right side, it just appeared there. And we don't have any brackets uh, as this is the plain type. If you want to add another row, you just need to use a uh, double backslash. Then we are typing our second row. Let's say that it's A, B, e, and C. And uh, you can see how it looks like. So this is the example for the uh, plain type. Let's say plain. And the second one, when you want uh, some parentheses or round brackets uh, around this matrix, uh, let's say round brackets, and I'm just copying the code above, and I'm just changing this matrix to P matrix. So we created a, a P matrix environment in this way. And as you can see, it just added uh, round brackets around our matrix. Similarly, uh, and again copying and passing, we can create square brackets and we are just changing P to B and we are using environment B matrix this time. And you can see the example uh, just right here. Also the others are the same, but uh, just let me quickly show you. Uh, we can also use uh, curly brackets. I just want to show you how it looks like, but this time we are using a capital D letter instead of uh, lowercase b. And here it is. Also we can use uh, pipes. For that we are using uh, V matrix, and if you make it uppercase V, we will obtain a matrix with double pipes. And our examples are here. So, this is generally how we uh, create matrices in LaTeX. And in this video, I will also uh, want to give you some hints, some tips how you can modify them. For example, uh, if you don't want to use this uh, environment or uh, uh, let's consider this square bracket with additional space. So I just want to create some space between uh, the rows. To do that uh, here after the two uh, double backslash, we are just writing, for example, one centimeter between uh, square brackets. And as you see, it just creates a gap between two rows. This is the trick you can use to uh, create some gaps between rows. And it works for uh, each of these environments. Also, if you don't want to use uh, either of these brackets, uh, you can also create a special bracket, let's say special bracket. So to do that, uh, again, for example, let's say left 
and I am using uh, L angle comment here and and I am just using another one so uh, you can see how right angle and left angle look like and I'm just passing the big matrix uh, just between and instead of having this uh, predefined bracket, I just created uh, an angle. So this is how you can modify a matrix. And lastly, uh, I just want to show you. So instead of using two double dollar signs, I will just use a single uh, double sign and let me copy the square brackets for example and in text oh, uh, you can see how it looks like and since it looks bigger uh, you can have smaller matrix as follows to do that, let me uh, create a math environment. Then I am using small matrix environment. So sorry for the compiler because we are just typing, and because of auto compile, it just uh, gives the compiler because I didn't finish writing typing the matrix and in between I'm just uh, taking my part as you see it's a smaller version of the matrix and to give some square brackets you can use left comment with uh, square brackets and then right comment here with square brackets okay here we are Great. So small matrix is very helpful if you want to use your matrices uh, in text. So I think I covered uh, these types of matrices in this video. Uh, I hope that it was helpful. Please leave a comment if you have any question. See you in the next videos.